Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes Gaming back again with another video. And today we have got a Stefan El Shawari review for you. He is a road to the final for the Conference League. So that does mean if Roma do pick up three wins and get out of the group, then he will get a double upgrade. It's not looking too hopeful for them at the moment after a 6 1 loss last night. But it's still possible that they can get out of the group. And, uh, and yes, we could definitely be getting at least one upgrade here. Looking at the player bio, he is 5'10 with medium, medium work rate. He's right footed with 4 star skills and 3 star weak foot. And to be honest with you, that automatically starts ringing an alarm bells for me. Being that he is a left winger, you do want him to have better weak foot than that so that he can go either way. He does seem like he would be quite one dimensional in terms of the cutting inside. Again, 5'10 isn't really an ideal height for a winger. It's a little bit tall. It doesn't suggest that he's going to be the most agile. But let's jump into his stats and see what they say. So jumping into the stats, he does have 91 pace, which is decent. And there's no split between acceleration and sprint speed. His shooting is looking a little bit low. Good attack positioning, but the finishing and shot power are both a little bit low. Which says to me that you are going to need a hunter, at least maybe even finisher, to boost those up. Because 80 finishing and 79 shot power really doesn't doesn't scream excellent to me the passing looks good good vision decent short passing good curve all right crossing you know for a winger as long as the short passing is decent and uh, and the crossing's all right you're, you're laughing dribbling is a really strange stat because overall he does only have 84 dribbling which makes you think it's a little bit low but he does actually have 99 agility he's also got really good balance reactions a little bit low at 80 and composure quite low at 78 as well isn't really ideal Looking at the physicals, the only other thing we really care about. Okay, strength and jumping. And Stam 81 is alright, but for a winger, that's probably going to mean you're going to need to take him off towards the end of the game to have an impact. In terms of traits, he does have the finesse shot trait and the flare trait, which are two very good traits to have, especially as he is going to be cutting inside onto that right foot a lot. But as I said, I think for me, a hunter on this is the way to go, just to get that pace really tipped up and get that finishing and shot power up high. I mean, you could look for an engine maybe or a maestro to boost the dribbling a little bit, but with the agility already at 99, it sort of seems like a little bit of a waste there. But let's jump into some gameplay and see how he performs. So jumping into the gameplay, the first thing I noticed straight away is I did initially use a maestro on him and he's just nowhere near quick enough with a maestro. So for sure, you want to be looking engine, probably more likely hunter just to get that pace as high as possible because the agility does feel pretty good but the pace is just too low at 91 I don't know what it is maybe it's just his height that makes him feel even clunkier but definitely getting the pace as, as high as possible is the way to go with this card that being said I mean this is going to be one of my first reviews where I really do slate a play I'm normally fairly positive but I really wasn't that impressed with this card for 50k I for me you know he's, he's there's nothing wrong with him he's okay but for 50k, he's nowhere near as good as Lorenzo Insigne's gold card, which is obviously less than 10k. Um, for me, I mean, the, the pace, as I said, once boosted was pretty good. Uh, he did feel fairly fairly nippy with the 99 agility. Um, but with that being said, he, he didn't feel like a special card, let's be honest. Um, his passing was average without being anything special. That really didn't stick out in any sort of sense. And you could really tell about the 78 composure. Any sort of goal scoring opportunity, he was he, he was fluffing a lot of them. Um, the, the composure really shone through that no matter how much you know you boosted that that finishing up, um, it was still disappointing. He was still missing chances I'd really, really expect him to score. And not to continue on with the negatives and the moaning, but three star weak foot is just really not ideal when you want to use a player out wide on his wrong foot. It, it just limits your options so, so much. I mean, you know, I'm playing against people. They know I'm coming in on the right right foot. They just position their defender, and then there's nothing you can do. Furthermore, with that, I mean, you know, he has had the downgrade on the skill moves from previous years. You know, you're so used to seeing him as a five-star skiller, but the four-star skills makes that down a little bit even more. Um, so he is very one-dimensional as a player, to be honest with you. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, links-wise, being Italian in the Serie A, as I just said, you can go and get yourself a Lorenzo Insigne for half the price and it has exactly the same strong links as he does, bar the Roma ones obviously, but who's, you know, there's not really many Roma players you'd be using anyway. Um, so I am really struggling to justify his price being being up, uh, up in the 50k mark. Um, for me, this is a 10k player, nothing more, nothing less. He has got the chance of one or two upgrades, probably the one, you know, I... It, It'd be unlikely they win all three of their games, but they could go through because they are in second at the moment. Um, if he gets an upgrade, maybe. Uh, but, I mean, again, I'm, I'm still really, really struggling to justify the purchase of this card. Just go and get yourself a Lorenzo and you save yourself the coins. You'll have a much more nippy, agile winger with a lot more options on the ball with him. Um, 
You know, Insigne, he does have the four star. He has similar shooting stats, similar pace, much better passing and better dribbling overall as well. So, I mean, it is really hard to justify this player at all, to be honest with you. Um, you know, if it's a little bit of a nostalgia thing, I guess. But past that, you know, he hasn't got the skill moves. He hasn't got the weak foot. His pace is average, needs boosting. His shooting is poor. His composure is poor. Dribbling's okay. Pretty, pretty good dribbling. Um, passing's bang average. I mean, what more can I say about the player, really? I was really, really disappointed in him and was hoping for a lot, lot more out of this card. So, yeah, guys, for me, this one is going to be a hard pass. I sold him as quickly as I bought him, and I don't need that boy anywhere near my team, to be honest with you. Uh, that brings us to the end of the video, guys. I hope that's helped you make a decision on him. Please leave a like and subscribe if it did, and I'll catch you in the next one.